Hey everyone, I'm here with Carrie from Clearcom and we're going to discuss why we chose Clearcom for the wireless aspect of this truck. So in the Columbus truck uh, we do have an Eclipse median uh, intercom matrix frame. Uh, a part of the, the median frame is the EQ card which connects to our FreeSpeak2 wireless antenna transceivers. Uh, it allows us in a modular manner to add coverage to the wireless system by simply adding simple uh, antenna transceivers over Cat5 cabling that can then speak directly to the FreeSpeak2 wireless belt packs that give access to up to four to five uh, different channels at a time on any given belt pack. Each belt pack can be uniquely configured depending on what the member of the crew needs to be able to achieve uh, for his wireless intercom needs. So from my perspective, the reason we went for these guys is, well, we've always liked Clearcom anyway, um, and uh, we know they do their research. So when there was the amalgamation with HME, one of the advantages Clearcom got was the build quality, the ABS kind of did build of those belt packs. So they're pretty bulletproof. Um, more importantly is the range. So we do a lot of action sports. Um, we do, you know, we, we often have talent 2,000 feet away quite easily. We've been able to actually modify some of these into IFBs. The thing that's very good is that the um, actual, well, not, never mind the range, the ease of use and the clarity. We're a four-wire company, so these are four-wire belt packs. I mean, they're well, it's not they're actually four-wire at all. They're um, using you know microwave. The point is the quality is equivalent to what you'd expect in normal com, rather than the, uh, for example, BTR, which can be a little hissly and crackly. Um, I think the other thing is, as well, on those belt packs, when Carrie first showed them to me, we used them on TED, I think it was, um, two years ago? Yeah, maybe two and a half years ago. So we passed one of those belt packs up. So one of the things they thought about is, if you lose these, they, they, you, we can make them vibrate, and there's a little light on the bottom which flashes. So if you're in a, like a stage, a dark stage, it happens all the time. Someone takes their belt pack off, it's coffee time. They come back, they can't find it. It's just black. So we can ping it from the matrix and this thing will just jump around buzz and flash and go I'm over here I'm over here another thing that's interesting about the belt pack is you can it stores commands so if you're an A2 and someone says you know fix the 416 that's come loose on the stand somewhere and followed by uh, when you've done that change the batteries on the microphone and maybe the guy doesn't have the best uh, memory what you can do is this actually records each command, so long as there's a gap of a second, is it a second or more? Or two it's, seconds? Uh, we have 15 seconds of memory. Right, but I mean, in terms of the gap for the next command, it truncates it. So right. It's the last incoming call. So basically, you press a button and it will repeat in your ear what that last command was, which is actually a great use for comm because half the, half the time, comm is what did you say again? What was that you wanted again? And that just gets rid of that problem. Um, and these, as I say, these, these, we've had these up mountains. Um, I mean, we work like most TV crews at, uh, um, in Fahrenheit, you know, 24 Fahrenheit, minus 24 Fahrenheit, 110 Fahrenheit. These work great, and we love them. Well done, mate. There you go. Aha, uh, yes. An additional function that we do have in the system, in the truck, is uh, something that we call Agent IC. So Agent IC is essentially an application that you can run on any uh, PC or, uh, I'm sorry, on any Android or iOS device. Uh, basically what it is, is that it's an intercom key panel that you can run on your personal device. Each one of them is configured independently, just like on the FreeSpeak2 belt box or on hardwired key panels and it speaks directly to an IP card that's in the frame, the IVC32 card, which is capable of hosting up to 32 of these uh, instances. Yeah, and we've used these, unfortunately, well, it's uh, fortunate and unfortunate. So, example, uh, the Zika virus, Brazil, last year. We're doing um, a, a world tour, a skateboarding world tour, and the producer on the job did not want to go to Brazil because he was worried about contracting it um, and his wife's pregnant, they're trying for children, and all the usual stuff. So he said, I can't go. So basically, we got him, we just loaded this on his phone, and he could, he could hear and talk to us where he was in our truck, 
and it worked and it, was, it was absolutely brilliant we also use it as a backup for ourselves so I mean I've used it like a dial-in so how's the job going guys and they go yeah it's great you know you've got our own little personal um, intercom again well done my friend there you go always good um, what else have we got to discuss? We've done, we've done oh, the fibre box, this is a fibre distribution. So another thing is, um, when we run fibre out of the truck, it's a fibre truck, we use um, ST over here. So we can use your um, antenna splitters on ST, uh, meaning that we can run one fibre that can cover cameras, comm and RF, all off the same fibre. Um, some people might say that's dangerous, but um, we've yet to come a cropper with it. We believe it's um, you know the way to go, and it certainly saves all the weight on the truck, and it makes deployment a lot quicker.